Hello, my name is Jordan Navarro, and tonight we will be celebrating Earth Day by listening to Chamber Songs for the Spring 2024 concert. The Spring Semester Concert is an annual event directed and conducted by Dr. David Bells. For this year, they found out that Earth Day just so happened to meet their scheduled date, so they leaned towards having it be Earth Day themed. Aiden O'Connor, a singer for this year's concert, expresses his personal feelings and history with chamber singing. I've been singing since, well, if we're talking in a group, uh, 11. If we're talking just on my own for fun, five. Um, and I wanted to sing in a group, essentially, because it's a very great way to just experience a lot of things in a setting that's very open. So singing and creating music and meeting people and discovering people who might have the same interests in you, it's all just, it's a lot of fun. I feel pretty good. I mean, it's my last concert of my college career. Um, I feel very solid and certain on the music. I enjoy most of what we're singing. I hope to achieve a performance that I will remember fondly. I want to look at myself and say, this is the best pot, this is the best singing, this is the best performing that I could have possibly done for my last choir concert. Accompanist Eric Wellett has been collaborating with David and the chamber students for over a decade. Thanks to him, the singers can enhance their performance with his piano skills to guide and flow with them. I've been playing the piano for about 40 years. Um, I started when I was in the eighth grade, um, which is a little late, typically. Um, kids start younger, but I started, I got a bug when I was about 13, so I was, I got totally into it and I never stopped. Um, earth Day has always been an important day and I think trying to bring more awareness to the earth and especially through music, it, it compels people to pay more attention sometimes when music's involved and you do things that, that have interest in bringing what Earth Day is about to song. We're doing some earth songs that have to do with, with the um, um, air, the earth, the sky, the uh, birds, um, woodpeckers, and trees. My job is to provide support to the conductor, so I will accompany on the piano. I'll plunk out parts that need to be played. If, people need help, we do sectionals, we take them out, we do different things, and then we put it all together, and the result is our concert that is coming up. I perform because I enjoy performing, but I also really look forward to an audience's reaction. So my goal is to put on the best performance we can put on, as always, and hoping the audience will respond and love what we do. Regarding the themes of nature for this concert, it's safe to say that music has come naturally for a lot of these performers, which is quite fitting given their upbringing. Take Margaret Russo. She has been to chamber singing since childhood. She has tips on how to get involved and to improve on your singing. I have been singing since I was seven years old. Um, I wanted to do it because it Came naturally, came naturally to me. I liked doing it. Um, I've always been pretty good at it. And it was a way for me to socialize with people my own age, mostly. That was the primary draw for me. And I enjoy making music. Uh, first, you have to audition for it. Uh, and then he has to think that you're good enough. Uh, and then, as far as I know, it's a lot of uh, outside choir work and you have to be able to blend well with the people next to you uh, and also you have to be able to carry yourself when maybe nobody else is singing your part and also when you don't have uh, the piano accompaniment uh, supporting you which can be hard for a lot of people. Uh, I myself am not a chamber uh, member and it's because I know that I can't do the, all those things. I can't commit that time and I can't always uh, handle being uh, exposed that the way that you are in chamber. The biggest thing about singing is uh, a breath. That's really important. Um, a lot of people don't take the time to learn how to breathe properly, and that can make it a lot harder for them to sing when they have their problems. Um, also, the biggest thing is to have fun. If you're not having fun when you're singing, you're doing it wrong. Um, uh, don't sing 
uh, higher or louder than you can, or lower or quieter than you can, sing comfortably uh, and sing with your heart as well. I just want to uh, put together a nice concert. I want to uh, perform my music as best as I personally can. Uh, and I just want to make nice art for people and share it with people who I love. That's what I want to do. Dr. David Bells has had a natural talent and a passion for music for a long time, using his own experiences and learning to teach every student that auditions for his class, regardless of background. I've been conducting for uh, roughly 35 years. And um, I, uh, what inspired me to become a conductor was when I was an undergraduate. Uh, I was a voice major and I was very, very, very average. And I thought, what am I going to do with this career? Uh, but it was my junior year. I was doing a musical and saw the conductor's hands come out of the, uh, out of the, the pit uh, where she was conducting the orchestra. It was just really taken with how uh, she, making no noise, and how her hands were shaping all of these beautiful sounds coming from the singers and the instrumentalists. And I said, that's what I want to do. In the choral area, we have singers that come from all over campus. Uh, unlike some other universities, our choral ensembles are open to everybody. You don't need to be a music major or a music minor. We actually have some community members involved. We have two different ensembles. One is our large non-auditioned ensemble uh, called Concert Chorale, and that has about 50 singers. And then we have a smaller ensemble, which is made up of students only, uh, of about 18 singers, and that's uh, Eastern Chamber Singers. So, um, having taught conducting for a long time um, to undergraduate students, and we usually, because my experience is with choir, for, for a long time I thought, oh, I'm a choral conductor, and then you have a band conductor, and you have an orchestra conductor. And through a variety of workshops that I uh, have participated in, you know, I've come to believe very firmly that no, we are all conductors. We're just standing in front of and communicating to a different type of ensemble, orchestral, band, choral. So what is it that I would want to uh, accomplish or con continue to do in my career? I would say seek out more opportunities for myself to be in front of different ensembles, but more importantly, create opportunities for my conducting students to be in front of different ensembles other than the choral ensembles that they typically conduct during their um, time in my courses. What I hope to achieve in this performance is to see the students who have been working so hard throughout the semester to learn this music, to present it um, artistically, to um, digest the text and really envelop this whole, all of these compositions uh, to a point where they can maximize all of this work uh, that culminates in the, uh, the uh, concert and basically put their best foot forward and, and uh, allow them to show all their hard work. Uh, also, I hope to achieve in this concert the audience uh, being entertained, informed, inspired, enlightened. Um, and yeah, so that's what I hope to achieve. Nature has given us many gifts, and so we use the nature of our own voices to make a symphony to express gratitude for the life and beauty that is given to us. This is Jordan Navarro at ETV News, signing off.